Hello, I'm Bushra from QA Milestone. And so far in this series on Cyprus, we have covered a lot. But Cyprus still has a lot to offer. So today we'll be learning about Cyprus custom commands. Cyprus places power in your hands by enabling you to create custom commands and overwrite existing commands. In this video, we'll focus on creating custom commands. Creating a custom command basically means that you can wrap a piece of code in a function and use it like any other Cypress command. But remember not to make everything a custom command because that would overcomplicate things. And so picking a valid candidate is essential. And once you have identified a suitable candidate, Make sure you're not doing too much in a single command because that would make your command inflexible. So let's go ahead and create one. Let's create a new spec file. We'll copy paste the code from the previous spec file. This code is available on GitHub. So a first test here, sign in, seems like a good candidate to me because we need it in every test file. And Cypress documentation suggests to create custom commands or override commands in commands.js file present under support folder. And that is because this file is loaded before any test files are evaluated. So let's delete all this and we'll create our first custom command. So to create a custom command, you need to write cypress.commands.add. We'll give a command a name. So we call it sign in and then here we'll add the code let's copy this complete thing so there you have your first custom command ready and to use this command Let's just save it first. Now we'll just take this name and here to use our command, you'll simply write cy dot the name of your command. And that's it. Pretty neat, right? And also we can add this to a hook instead of a test. So basically Cypress is built on top of Mocha and Mocha provides us with hooks like before, after, before each and after each. These are used to set up and tear down. So we can use before hook and move our login command inside it. Let's just change it to before. And it doesn't need a name. A benefit it provides is in case our sign in function fails, Cypress wouldn't run any of the tests in this file. So let's save it and let's run our test. So our custom command ran perfectly fine, but our second test failed. And that is because we were expecting no articles are here yet, but we still have an article marked as favorite here. And I'm sure you can fix that on your own by now. I hope you enjoyed this video and got to appreciate the ease custom commands provide. 
See you in the next video where we'll be discussing the project configurations.